Aloha and welcome to another Roland TR-8S tutorial. I am Unit E and in this video I am going to show you how I do internal sidechain compression with the instruments and the TR-8S. Now by default the TR-8S does have an in external input and a sidechain for that external input. Your external input is right over here. You have a mono or a stereo left right and you have six assign outputs over here. So what I do is I send an assign out, this one being number three, into the left mono of my external input. Then I go to shift and kit. You can see on the external in category there is a side chain source, we'll get back to that. But I hold shift and I scroll till I get to output. I let go of shift and scroll to the track I want to send or I want to be sidechain. This is going to be the baseline on my mid tom, but I also did it to the closed hats. So my 16th note hats have a slight ducking on my kicks. Okay, going back to that external end, you can see you can choose your sidechain source. Any one of the tracks here can be the source of sidechain, which means whenever that track is active, anything going through the external in will be uh, ducked or sometimes gated depending on the type of side chain you use. Experiment with the different kinds to see what happens. And also I believe in the reference manual they do give a small list and description of the different side chains. You also get a side chain depth. 255 is your max and you can definitely hear the difference. And that's all you get in a gain if you need it and panning and reverb and delay sound on the external end, but that's all we know about. So let's take a listen to it. Okay, you'll hear my kick and snare just so you get an idea what it is. And then I'll bring in the bass line and the hi-hats so you can hear them ducking. Very simple beat, just a four on the floor with a snare. Let's bring them in. All right, my hi-hats are in 16th, but ducking on the kicks. My mid-tom has a little three hit with a space, but we're getting ducking. If you really want to hear it, go ahead and crank your depth up to 255. You can hear both the bass line and my hats ducking on the kicks quite a bit, almost to a muting. That can be great for effect, but I like to hear those coming back in. So I cut it down to about 200. That gives me enough uh, ducking that the kicks come through nice and solid and don't get all muddled up with the bass line. Now you can do this with every track if you want to send them all through the assign out back to the external in. You will have two volume controls now so I can control them of course by my faders and also kind of an external in. There's no extra added benefit to that but do keep that in mind. That's all for this video. If you found it helpful Give it a thumbs up so everyone else knows how helpful it was to you. Hit that subscribe button if you want to keep watching my videos and uh, ring the bell and you'll be notified when those new videos come out. Once again, I am Unit E and thanks for watching.